Hello, it's Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the day in the life of a software engineer internet Dropbox. I've been working on the web activation team, so our team's focus is on connecting web users to the value of Dropbox um, through onboarding, personalization, intuitive workflows, um, and discovery. My team is a product facing full stack team. And what that means is that we're working on the product that our customers use. Um, and full stack means that we work on all aspects of the product. So from the front end, which is what the users see, the user experience, the user interface um, to the back end, which is the things that the user doesn't see, but still supports the functionality of the product. So this can look like, you know, handling users data, data storage, and things like that. A lot of people want to know what technologies I use when I code, um, and my team primarily uses TypeScript, React, and Python. These are commonly used languages and frameworks in the industry, and if you're a full stack developer, um, you've probably used at least one of these before. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get started. It's around 9 a.m. and I'm about to log on for work. Um, I usually try to log on between 9 and 10 a.m., but I have a lot of flexibility since Dropbox is a remote first company. So if I have things going on in the morning and I can't log on until later, it's usually no problem. Um, we also have core collaboration hours, which occur from 11 to 3 central or 9 to 1 Pacific time. And these are when most of our meetings are scheduled so that people living in different parts of the country can still attend meetings during normal working hours. Here's a quick look at my setup. I usually have my laptop, my mouse, my water bottle, and my monitor. This is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and I highly recommend it. I can have up to three screens going at one time and this is super helpful for when I'm coding. So the first thing I like to do in the morning is check my email and Slack to see if there are any important announcements and get back to anyone I need to. I also like to check my calendar to see if any events have been added and also to look at what meetings I have throughout the day. Then I like to take a look at my experiments and see how they're doing. Here at Dropbox, we run a lot of experiments to track the success of our features. Um, so I, this usually involves like monitoring the data, seeing if there are any abnormalities. Um, and then I usually just get started with my normal tasks. I like to create a to-do list to keep track of what I've completed and check them off throughout the day, which I find super satisfying. I also like to grab some breakfast when I start getting hungry, which is usually around 10 a.m., but honestly, it really varies. I've been spending a lot of time working on my intern project. Um, pretty much every intern at Dropbox is assigned a project at the start of their internship and they work on it throughout the duration of their internship. These projects are usually challenging enough that the intern can learn and grow from them, but not so challenging that it's discouraging. Um, they're also not super high priority, so in case an intern doesn't complete it, it's not a big deal. However, these projects are still have very high impact. For example, my project will probably be seen by hundreds of thousands of users, um, which is pretty crazy, but Dropbox really makes an effort to make sure that every intern project is meaningful and impactful. I can't tell you the specifics of my intern project, but I can tell you that I'm working with TypeScript, React, and Python. A good chunk of my time is spent coding, um, but I also spend a lot of time communicating with product management, design, data science, and engineering. Um, I also spend a lot of time setting up logistics, um, doing documentation, getting ready for ramp up. Um, so there's a lot of different skills that I'm building and I'm really happy with how my project has been going.
It's around noon and I'm about to head to my team sync. This is a weekly meeting that takes place on Mondays where we give updates on how our weekends went, how we're feeling, and updates on any of the projects we're working on. Um, and this is just a nice way to keep in touch and stay up to date on how everyone's doing. team sync, I'll be heading directly to stand up where we'll go over our sprint board on Jira and discuss any progress updates on individual tasks, ask any questions, and try to solve any blockers. So this is a great way to keep engineering management and product management up to date on the progress of our projects. It is a little bit after one, so I'm gonna grab some lunch. Today I'll be heating up leftovers, but if I don't have leftovers, then typically I will make some lunch. Um, and then if I'm really lucky, Dropbox will send over like a Uber Eats or DoorDash to go get lunch. But usually that only happens when we have special events going on, um, like speaker events or something like that, that happens during lunchtime. Normally around this time, I would be checking my phone, scrolling Instagram, calling my parents or friends or just texting them. Um, sometimes I also like to work at my desk if it's a busier day or if I don't really have anything else to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish my lunch now. I finished up lunch and did a little bit of work. And then my next meeting is our web activation engineering meeting. And this takes place every other week and it only includes the engineers and we just share out different things. We talk about ways that we could improve our team um, and also what we want to prioritize. And I think it's a really great way to just like discuss things that we normally don't get to talk about in other meetings. So if you have an idea about like some way that we could make the team more efficient or like some way to just promote like team bonding. This is like the place to call it out. And usually we start off with like a fun icebreaker. So I really enjoy these meetings. Um, and I think it's a great way for the engineers to spend some time together, um, just brainstorming and collaborating. I have 15 minutes until our next meeting, which is our web activation on-call handoff meeting. And this meeting is for the current on-call engineers to transfer information and updates to our next week's on-call engineers. Um, on-call usually rotates every couple weeks. Um, and then while you're on-call, you typically just respond to any alerts or um, like breakage that your team owns. Um, so luckily my team isn't really um, like a high alert team. Like I think it's very rare if even like ever that someone is like pinged in the middle of the night to go save something. Um, but yeah, this is like pretty typical. Most teams will have an on-call engineer. Um, and I think it is really good just in case anything does happen, there's someone that is specifically assigned to go take care of it. It 
It is around 3.30 and I have no other meetings for the rest of the day. However, you never know, sometimes meetings will pop up spontaneously. But for now, I have some free time to work on my intern project. I'm hoping that I can ramp up today or in other words, release my project to the whole world. Um, but I have a lot to do before I can do that. I have to check in with product and design and data science and the other engineers on my team to make sure that everything is good to go. Um, I also have to check in with some other teams since my project is cross-functional and uses some components that other teams own and interacts with um, things that other teams own as well. So I have to check in with those teams and then once I get the approval, then I can officially start ramping up. So fingers crossed that everything goes as planned. I had a few things come up today that had me a bit concerned um, because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to ramp up today. However, I was able to take care of those and now I'm officially ramped up. So yay, I am super excited. Um, I think one of the most rewarding parts about being a developer is being able to see a project from start to finish and then see it being released to users. Um, you know, after you spend so much time on it, put so much thought and effort, it's just so rewarding to see all of those things come to fruition. Um, and so today was definitely a good day. Um, not all days are this exciting, but this is definitely um, still, I would say, a pretty accurate um, depiction of what a day in the life of a software engineering intern is like. It's a little after 5 p.m. and I'm gonna start wrapping up for the day. So this looks like, you know, checking my emails, checking Slack for the last time, making sure I get back to whoever I need to. Um, also making sure that my projects are at a good stopping point and that my experiments are doing well. Um, so yeah, this has been a exciting day. Um, after work, I'm planning on making dinner and going to the gym. Um, I do want to stress that every day is not the same. Some days I have more meetings, other days I'm coding more or I'm doing more um, like logistics. Um, also, a lot of times I'll have intern events um, scheduled throughout the week in the summer. So we've had like Lego events, like taste testing events, game shows, like tons of fun things to do um, and I've made a lot of great friends throughout this internship. Um, there's also a lot of events hosted by ERGs or employee resource groups and these groups are made to make um, Dropbox more diverse and welcoming. Um, so I'm like a part of the Asians ERG, the women's ERG, and they host a lot of fun events like Lunch and Learn where we get free lunch and we usually get to um, have lunch with a guest speaker. There's also a lot of volunteering events and like there's like the Chicago neighborhood where they host events in Chicago. Um, so I feel like Dropbox has a really great culture and community um, and I feel like there are tons of places where you can like find your people um, and just like make friends and connections. So needless to say, I am feeling the end of my internship approaching and it's really sad, but I am super grateful for everything that I have learned um, and how much I've grown. Um, also all the amazing people that I have met and connected with. Um, it's honestly been a really great time and I just kind of wanted to create this video to document my experience and share it with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.